Hello, I'm your host, Jonathan Miller, and today I'm joined by Ron Dutt, CEO of Flux Power Holdings, ticker symbol FLUX on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. Thank you so much for being here with us today, Ron. Glad to be here, Jonathan. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the company. I understand you had some, uh, some great earnings to report on. Uh, why don't you elaborate a little bit more about what the company does and your background, how you got involved? Oh, yeah, that's a, a very loaded question. Uh, been doing this for 10 years. We started with eight other people and myself about 10 years ago, seeing the great opportunity to be a first mover providing lithium battery packs in the material handling sector. So very excited. My background was uh, really with Ford Motor Company and a lot of uh, other large companies. Uh, so it came in here. We started this. Early on, we saw the great opportunity uh, of the value proposition that we have for Fortune 50, Fortune 100 companies that had large fleets that wanted to move more pallets at a cheaper all-in cost. So as part of that, that really dictated our strategy to, be, to build scale and to be their supplier of choice. Excellent. Thank you. And it's been quite a few months since we last spoke. Can you talk about any uh, recent developments uh, that have occurred? Well, fortunately, uh, since we spoke last time, the supply chain um, disruption has continued to abate. We're still seeing some signs of it with uh, the fort certain lines of forklifts uh, being delayed in delivery because of shortage of parts. So we've had uh, a little bit of, uh, of lumpiness in our business because of that. But because we continue to add uh, two or three new customers each quarter, that really helps to mitigate that. And as part of our strategy uh, to build scale. So we've seen, we've seen that. Um, at the same time, we've seen just continue unrelenting demand for lithium products. Uh, the customers now have, have come to see that the value proposition for these big fleets is there. If you look at some of our customers, um, you see they've been um, well vetted and, and they see the, the, the cost benefit uh, equation uh, for that. So we have a number of new household names in our pipeline. We're not ready to talk about being public. We have to be very careful on, on disclosures, but it's a particularly exciting time uh, to be in this segment and in this market. It absolutely is with everything going electric. I'm sure it's uh, very busy for you. <laughs> yes, it is. Ele electrification. We talk about it as uh, electrification of commerce. Absolutely. And what's the highest priority right now? Uh, good, good question. For us, uh, We've been building scale, building an infrastructure, and uh, our, our highest priority right now is uh, reaching profitability. Uh, in the numbers we reported in early May, re reflecting our March 30th results, we're, we're almost getting within breathing, breathing room of, um, of break even. So uh, we're real excited about that. Uh, we need to keep the business uh, pacing um, and uh, get by uh, and deal with uh, some of these issues, but we're very confident we're getting close. Uh, but that's our number one. Once we become profitable, I think uh, shareholders are going to, um, uh, it's going to resonate with shareholders as to who we are, where we're going, uh, and into the future. Absolutely. It's always an important KPI. Um, now, given the current economy, how has the customer demand been? You know, is it this, you know, the economy, it's, it's funny. If you're in the right part of the con uh, economy, it's good. And, and uh, the world that we're in with forklifts and airport ground support equipment are, are still very robust. The demand's there. Um, and we see as long as we don't uh, have uh, supply chain issues, that, that demand is there. In fact, the demand is so much that we, we have received some, quote, letters of intent for certain large customers to protect orders out for the next couple of years. So that's, that's we've never seen that in, in, in our history. So that pretends very well of the current state of demand. 
That sounds promising. It's always great to have a lot of things in the pipeline. Where can investors find out more about the company and follow along with your story? You know, our website, sluxpower.com, really has a lot of information there. It has an investor uh, relations section with our uh, PowerPoint presentation uh, and other blogged information um, and material information as well. Our investor relations group, MZ Group, is also available uh, to help investors um, uh, reach our story. Um, and we are also now at this stage of the company uh, looking to expand our marketing and messaging and communi communication to our investor and customer base. Excellent. I know some companies that would be great at helping you with that. Companies Flux Power Holdings, CEO Rhonda, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks, Jonathan. Thanks so much.